Hello everyone and welcome back to Wicked Art is Wicked here and just giving you a little bit of an update. Um, I know in the last video I said that I was a little too busy to really do videos and not get much comments. So I did get some comments. Um, so I am working on some animation tutorial videos but those take a little longer because it's animation so I will get those out as soon as I can so I just ask for some patience on that but I will be getting those out but for now I'm still just kinda working on this comic book I'm actually almost done with this it's like the fourth issue I've done for this person um, and then I'll be back to work on my own personal graphic novel but um, as you can see in this particular video um, on these panels I was just uh, I kind of had to like go in and make sure that all the lines that were disappearing from the panels were connected. That way I could do like a mass selection and then just go in and uh, invert that and then create a mask for it. And then what's kind of going on in the scene is um, there's these things called darklings that uh, they use to uh, uh, possess a host and then kind of like the aliens from Alien they kind of burst out. <laughs> Of their body um, and create a new creature um, so this person is working for what's just known as the darkness um, so that's why I'm picking a lot of these dark kind of almost like venom like colors um, but I'm just putting in the basic color so this is just a separate layer under the lines layer and then um, just kind of laying down all those flats so like you can see the change in skin tone it kind of turned this kind of pale zombie kind of look after it's been uh, extracted from the body um, and then uh, the color tones I'm trying to stick with kind of a cause it kind of takes place in a Sherlock Holmes um, type thing um, so yeah if you want to if you want to check out those comics and, and, and see that go to Christian Harloff's channel um, and you can join, uh, click under some of his videos and they have the link to the physical copies if you want or you can join his Patreon uh, for $5 and get the copies for free. But either way, um, I'm, I'm sticking with that kind of era of Victorian era. So that's a lot of the color choices that I'm doing on here is uh, for the clothes. Um, and the background is real simple, just you know, cobblestone streets, uh, red brick. Uh, nothing too fancy. So once I get all those laid in, I can use that same mask that I had before. Um, and you just hold like command um, on the computer. It might just be... Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's still command on the PC too. Um, but you just click that mask you had before and I just create a new layer above that. And uh, just fill that in with kind of a dark blue. I've been kind of liking the way the dark blue looks on the shadow. Sometimes it doesn't look as good um, on the brick, um, but for the scene, since it's at nighttime, it works out. Um, and then once I fill that in, I just go in and I'm just uh, almost cutting out the negative of where the light should be. And I found that this works a lot better because um, I can see it as it's coming, almost like watching the sunlight go over the top of an area. Um, again, I don't tend to 100% go with what's accurate to reality. Sometimes I tend to lean more towards what looks cool at the moment. So that's just the way I end up going. Um, but yeah, I just end up going through and just kind of carving out what I see. Um, certain areas, it depends, like on these more close-up shots, um, I can, you know, take the time to really kind of like detail out where certain light points are hitting. Um, but like on the one, uh, I think it's panel three, uh, where it's bursting out of the woman's chest, um, I can cut out larger swaths and not have to be so detailed just because it's farther away and it saves some time too. Um, but uh, like you can see on the gloves there, I just kind of cut that out. Uh, on the arm and stuff and, and what it does it just gives a, a quick sense of light uh, on the body to kind of you know balance everything out um, and then 
uh, the because I put so much detail on the uh, darkling creature itself, I had to kind of do more of a like a quick cutout of the shadows. So I just kind of whatever was on that left side, I just kind of erased open and left the rest of it dark on the other side. So you can see how I'm just kind of like cutting it in half basically on certain spots uh, just to, you know, give that sense of depth to the character. Um, since we're laying on the ground with the body here, um, it was much easier to just kind of do a, a top edge uh, lighting. Uh, nothing that would be overly detailed or visible. Um, just because of the angle it's coming down. And again, once we get to a close-up one, uh, I kind of have to kind of cut out, you know, a little bit more uh, detail, but can still use that general uh, cell shading uh, type look to it. Um, and then once I'm done with that, uh, I can kind of just jump into the background, which I don't really use a mask for. Um, I could, you know, keep things inside, but I didn't really mind. But you can see I like to do the bottom shadows on that layer so it doesn't interfere with the top one. Um, but they were easier cut-ins. It's more larger swaths. And then I can pick that same mask again on that color layer and just call it highlights and just stick it in there. Now, if you're curious about the shadows, when I picked that dark blue, I actually knocked that down to 80%. Um, but, yeah, for the highlights, I'm just kind of picking the moonlight type color. Um, so kind of like a pale yellow um, and just hitting up the outer edges. Um, on some areas I kind of tend to cut inside but mostly just facing the one side is what I tend to go with um, just to make it stick out some more. Um, the other thing after you know once all those highlights are in there that I want to focus on is the power that he's using so I just have a regular inner glow set to white and outer glow set to purple um, and you can just adjust from there like how much of a spread you want but I just kind of trace the outline on a layer above and that's really it and thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one alright